that I made now. So here are a couple of images which we are going to use and I took these images from the internet and I'll provide a soft description below and before and after I pre-cut the image the car and the Taliba himself so this is the background which we are going to use and it's a quite simple manipulation press control on your keyboard on windows and click on the icon or the thumbnail for the picture and control c for copy and control v for paste and resize the image and uh, adjust its position until you feel happy so we'll repeat the same procedure by pressing control and the icon which you see the thumbnail actually for the image control c for copy oops what happened ah yes i did not select the layer okay yeah make sure the layer is selected and uh, press ctrl v for paste oh it's a large image i'll press ctrl zero to fit the screen and i'll resize the image by pressing ctrl t for transform and i'll while holding shift i'll resize in order to get the image without stretching it um, now you gotta just play with this until you feel you're happy or satisfied with it. Make sure that you maintain a ratio between the car and the person actually. Actually I was not able to plan detailly about the tutorial and I wanted to do something really great for the Taliba himself and his much hyped film being released probably maybe next year the teaser gets released tomorrow as I said earlier so we'll add a gradient by the adjustment no we can do the adjustment actually right we'll add a black color I feel that I want to add a little more black so we will push the scroll bar to the left on the right actually towards the right okay i want to clip this layer so press alt on your keyboard that be on windows and uh, press until the pop-up icon appears so this is the technique that i follow normal using keyboard shortcuts and uh, reduce the opacity and uh, right that's it now uh Let's carry with on with the tutorial. So we'll use the pen tool to make a small shadow. That is P for pen tool. And I have made a shape of a shadow. I'll use the fill tool to fill it with black. Okay. Now we need to blur this. It looks, looks too much bright. Okay. So we have positioned the shadow. Everything perfectly. Now we'll select the shadow. Go to blur. Gaussian blur. And uh, just adjust the radius until you're satisfied with that. Uh, oh. Okay. I failed this much. Just. So normally we want to see self crusher is most preferable. Uh, we'll use another technique in the same tutorial itself. So here I prefer to take with the custom made shadow, not from the actual image itself. And this is the technique that I said earlier by using image shadows. That is, selecting control on the image icon, create a new layer and fill it with the color black. Flip it vertical. Doesn't matter how the shadow is actually. We are going to resize this by using simple layman's idea. Of resizing the image that's it no problem in this because it's actually a shadow so there's no rule actually for shadows to be present like this or like that we'll just position it in the same way as the taliba standing and we'll have the same technique of gaussian blur right we'll just radius and this Um, 
Okay. I think this looks good. Now we have placed all our components. Actually, not too much components. Actually, I wish to add more components. But in this tutorial, we'll add just uh, two components. Okay. Maybe I need to add a little bit of uh, inner shadow to the image, right? Okay, maybe, yeah, a little towards the blue. Change this blending mode to color dodge. But, uh, this is necessary. Bring it out of the mind. We'll try this. If not, we'll delete it. We'll just play around with the settings of distance and shadow uh, size. No, no, no. Definitely we don't want the shadow coming from there. I mean, the light's coming from there. I think we... No, we'll get rid of that. We don't want that. Let's carry on with the normal procedure itself. We'll choose a smooth brush. We wish, I wish to add uh, more depth or shadows at the lower part of the car, which I'm using a soft brush, setting the opacity to about 44%. Choosing the color black and actually I'm spraying it on. Well, as you can see in the lower part of the car. So that will create a difference. But there's actually a difference between the car and the background. All seems not to blend in. So we'll color balance. We'll go to color balance. And we'll add a little bit of leds to the image. Perhaps maybe blues. To give it a little purplish color. What was I doing? I was actually searching. Yeah, color balance. Yes, it's the same we'll repeat for the man. The great man, actually. Thalaiva. We'll add a little bit of... Uh, Yellow and red. Okay, now the image seems to be blended in with each other. Fine. So this is actually the easiest technique of blending images by adjusting color balance. Um, curves, levels. You can play with that actually. It's your choice. So we will add a, actually the car's headlights for which I'm using the circular marquee tool. Create a new layer, then fill it with black. And then I'm going to render. Lens flare. I'm choosing 105 prime, setting the brightness to about uh, 111 percentage. Change its blending mode to screen. So we have got the light, but actually, uh, it looks very artificial. It seems not blended. So we will double click on the layer. See, that is the technique I want to see, show you. That is, you need to press Alt and drag these sliders so that they split into two and uh, just adjust those things until you get a smooth transition between the first layer and the light okay now this light looks very realistic we have duplicate copy by pressing ctrl j that'll be on a windows so we have added the two headlights Now here comes the most important part, create a new layer, press Shiftify to fill it or you can go to edit. Now go to filter, add noise, choose a Gaussian, monochromatic and adjust this to a very small amount. This is one of the best techniques to add rain, there are many techniques but this technique works really really good. Now I actually set this to 55. 73 no yeah 4 to 6 percentage distance motion blur is good now change its blending go to screen go to curves the same technique that i followed we are going to clip this layer by pressing alt and i create two points as oops not not that way not that way the opposite way yes now you can see uh, the shadow uh, that is we are decreasing the amount of brightness and yet the rains are visible right if you push the upper end it will make the raindrops more visible not this much okay good let's carry on with it 
Okay. Now this looks real fantastic. Or am I bluffing? Good actually. Can't say that. It's fantastic. Okay, now uh, what we want is we're gonna add some amount of splashing. Actually, when rains fall on metal surfaces or even a person's body, some of the drops may splash or spatter. So that's why we are gonna use a simple brush that Photoshop already provides. We're gonna just spray some, uh, you know, those kind of patterns over that car, over the shoulders. Okay, just actually spray that. It doesn't matter. This will look artistic. Because actually, it's a very simple brush. It's just, uh, you know, like the same pattern. Also not rotating the brush. Doesn't matter actually. This is not going to affect this image. I'll show you why. Because uh, once you spray this, you're going to reduce its opacity to very low value. Maybe to around... Uh, uh, to less, probably less than 30% Or I'll check with 37. Good. Now this suits the image better, right? Now, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, oops. I didn't select that. Levels. We'll adjust some more levels. We will, you know, increase the mid tones. So we'll drag the mid tones slider a little towards the right. Okay. Now we will go to Nix software. Color Reflex Pro 4. These filters are really great, man. You need to download this. And it comes as a trial version. Buy genuine keygens. I recommend that to get the full fledge. So we'll add some detail extractor to around 24% or 15% as you wish. And uh, we'll add some amount of fog by using graduated fog filter. Choose any one of the methods. The opacity at a very low value. You may think that what is the difference of adding a very low value? I'll tell you later because uh, you know, yeah, we are added those two filters. Now I'll save this image. Okay, I'll save this image with the name film itself, Kapali. Where did that K go? Ah, it's here, right. K B like right Kapali and save this file as a JPEG because I'm using CS5 and uh, not CS6. You want to use camera raw? Follow this technique. It's one of good techniques as well because uh, CS5 is not to use image the camera raw as a smart filter. So we'll adjust the exposure of the image to make it a little more dark and we'll add some graduated filter at the bottom. To give it that, you know, dark tipped look in the bottom. We'll adjust the exposure. Now we will choose this uh, adjustment press to add some amount of, uh, you know, a little boost, not too much, a little bit. We'll adjust the exposure of the uh, lamps. Okay, split toning. Don't know whether this will work on this image or not. Oh, it's taking too much blue. Not always this technique. But let me give it a little bit of try. The orange. I just want to add a little bit of orange actually to the lamps. And this technique may work with that. Now let's add vignette by going to this fx high priority play uh, with the amount and midpoint settings until you get a satisfied vignette effect now we'll adjust the temperature a bit no 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 no, no. not too much cold we'll decrease this value okay yeah minus four i think that's enough not too much decrease in temperature because it's we are still showing it's raining okay now we'll uh, save the image 
I'll show you. Okay, so that's the image we have saved. Now I'll open the image and show it in Photoshop. Oops. Oh yeah, the Lara Croft Tomb Raider. Let me close that. I don't know where this. Ah, before and after. Camera raw. Why not the cheap pop up? Yeah, that's a good tutorial. I'll save a good views for that. You can go that too as well. Now you can go to color reflex world, same technique on the filter menu. Now uh, we'll play with this car cross processing a bit until you get the satisfied uh, color combination. Actually, cross processing is a set of uh, you know levels of RGB values. That will be very tedious to adjust those. And this will be an easy way. Yeah. Before and after color reflex flow. So this is the final image. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, hoping your support for the next tutorials also. And uh, yeah, just don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos. And this is me, Shad Mohan, for Illusionist, Photography and Photoshop Manipulations.